People have lived, loved and died on this island for 30,000 years. Some of their memories remain in the form of a fading dream. Once we were part of nature, we moved with the west wind as it brought the change of seasons. We ate what we hunted, and we were hunted ourselves. Our senses were sharp and our minds were focused. We held some places sacred and passed our lessons on by telling stories and singing songs. This was a long time ago. Since then, we have transformed a large part of our land and with it, our way of life. Here in Tasmania, a large portion of our landscape, particularly the southwest, is rugged mountainous country that has resisted taming by human hands. The glacial valleys are carpeted with thick Gondwanan forests and the jagged ridge lines of the mountains are exposed to the storms that are brought in from the Southern Ocean on the west wind. To undertake a long solo journey to traverse this vast wilderness at the onset of winter may be considered insanity to some. To others, it's the only thing that makes sense. Even the longest journey begins with a single step. No matter how difficult or distant our destination may seem, if we continue to take one step at a time towards it, we'll eventually get there. Sometimes we may encounter difficulties we didn't expect. Mountains will test us, and through a series of trials, we may discover new knowledge about ourselves and the landscape that we are part of. Mountains can humble us, and they can reward us. If we wish to respect our mountains, we must learn to take them on their own terms, without seeking their transformation to suit our needs, for they have most to teach us in their natural form. Mountains are older than us. As our elders, they can help us remember memories we have forgotten. The mountains whisper, and their whisper is carried to us on the west wind. If we learn to listen, one day we may even remember our fading dream. Hungry. Hungry.